Y'all are probably asking why I mean Yanfei. Why do you mean Yanfei? Huh. Okay, I think I get, I get, I get why they love Kirara. Pause. And why does she have two oh. tails? This is wrong. And where are her damn ears? Does Genshin know how to make ears? You guys are probably asking another question. Why am I still playing Genshin when I know I have to wait for another like, like I don't know, eight months before Hutao, six months or less? Two words actually. The reason why I'm still playing Genshin, Hu Tao. So right after I quit Hawkeye, it's when I joined Genshin. The moment I joined Genshin Impact is Hu Tao's release, and I was like, "Who is this girl?" Uh, I want to take. I want to take a look at myself. So I joined Genshin, and there she is. It's her uh, banner. I was like, "Ugh, f I can't get this character. What do I do?" So I was like, "Super." I was like super crossed and I had to like leave Genshin for like a week. Tao is the director of the Wangshun Funeral Parlor, the 77th director. And I had, I used to have like a, f I don't know, an obsession with haunted ghosts and stuff. So when I saw her demo and uh, her character demo, I was like, wow. And reason why I'm waiting for Hutao is because I br I don't want to bro broke a promise I've made over half a year ago. I made a promise that I would never broke. I swear on my life, I will never wish on any limited Vantra character unless I want a 4 star. I swear on my life, I will not try to attempt to get a limited 5 star character. I swear upon my life, I will only wish on Hutao's banner and once I get her home, my promise is fulfilled. I'm not crazy like this guy on Reddit, okay? I'm not crazy like this guy on Reddit, he was like, marry me Hutao. I'm not like that type of person, I'm like, I'm dedicated to get Hutao. I'm dedicated to acquire this character for my character menu so I can use it. Hutao has my favorite color, red. And my favorite element, pyro. And I also had a pyro vision I bought from Amazon. It was, it's really expensive, so that pyro vision I used to have, I gave it to Sarah. I won't say her name. Sarah is just a fake name. I'm calling her now. I gave that to Sarah. And she liked it, and now she uses it as a keychain to remind her of Hutao because she used to love Hutao as well so why not just give it to her sacrifice a pyro vision so I gave her a pyro vision and now I'm stuck with Genshin as the only memory of Hutao left Hutao is different than anyone else she's playful she's cheerful she's exciting she just she's just funny Genshin really gives her character in every dialogue yeah and I only like her because I, 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 I don't want to broke a promise I don't, wanna, I don't want to break a promise I've made half a year ago it would be too risky to break a promise half a year ago all for nothing mm, yeah that's the reason why I still play Genshin and still wait for Rotao even though there's like even though I have to like wait for her instead of like playing Genshin. But who knows, maybe if I have more wishes, I can wish for more characters. Like new Fontaine characters, like Lynette, like, uh, who is this uh, Hydro Archon, I forgot her name. I could, I will wish for her if I have enough Prima Gems. But right now, all I have to do right now is just wait. Wait for Hutao's rerun. Wait for her to come back. Wait so I can use the last 10 wishes on her. I don't know. This sounds like I'm simping, but I'm not. I'm just dedicated. Patience is key. Patience is the reason why I'm still playing this game. And I'm, I learned a lot about patience in this game. Uh, okay. 
Let's just do this story quest because I'm getting emotional right now. Oh, look at this sunset, bro. Uh, huh? Wait, is that how Paimon thinks it is? <gasps> it's A! It's the puppet. She's going to kill us. Automatic response. Don't go to her, Charlotte. Uh oh! Robot approaching to us. Robot approaching to us. I repeat. Oh, it's not her puppet. Oh, I swear. What? You, you mean Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder? Hello. Please forgive me for not recognizing you. I. This is also my first reaction. <laughs> oh, each of your acquaintances is more impressive than the last. Oh, uh, don't worry. You'll meet Nahida soon after. Where is she going? Perhaps she felt a little intimidated by me. Dude. Unfortunately, the semifinals is where my journey ends. Oh, she lost. <laughs> Let me guess. She lost against uh Yaimiko. The reason being that she lost to me. <laughs> say lost. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Amiko and Ranit A is a very interesting bunch. <laughs> yeah, it's cute actually. <laughs> I'm glad Genshin made these two. <laughs> Aha! Hey, compadre! And flying lap Oh, bull chucker! Don't call Paimon that in public! <laughs> what would this tournament be without Arataki, the ultimate TCG champion, Ito? <sighs> As fate would have it, Boss was the only one who didn't make it out of the qualifiers. <laughs> Alright, that's it. I know how to settle this. We're gonna play a match. Right now, you and me. Alright, it's gonna be fun. I love it. How about this? Shinobu, lend me your deck. You've got some pretty slick card backs. Hmm. The Traveler probably has cool card backs too. No, I don't. I don't. I actually don't. Better than yours. Okay, in that case, you can use my deck. Boss, how do I put this? Nobody could win with that deck of yours. No matter who uses it. Hey, quit busting my chops! Sheesh! What do you say, Traveler? You got time for a match now? Yeah, of course. Let's play. Right! See? This is what I call a true compadre! Our cocky <laughs> gang forever! <sighs> Alright, I'll be the judge then. So, this is his card, huh? Interesting. I mean, it's good. This is the worst card deck ever! Ah, uh, I see her plan! No! I'll lose! He's gonna give Hyper Bloom! No! Uh, this is the worst card deck ever! Why? What did I ever do to you? I resign. That's it. It's all your fault, Arataki. It's all your fault. Your damn deck is the worst. Welcome to the final round of the King of Invocations Grand Prix Inazuman Regional Finals! Our contestants are... Guji Yai Miko of the Grand Narukami Shrine versus Sangonomiya Kokomi, Divine Priestess of the Sangonomiya Shrine. Oh, it's about to go down. Oh boy. Oh boy. Further ado, oh shoot. Let the final match begin. Oh shoot. Okay, it's starting. Now, to find out who will play first. You took your time. I was starting to wonder if you got lost walking on the seabed, Miss Soul of the Deep. <laughs> Oh, insult! Oh, damn, she is cold. You must be tired after the walk back to shore. Perhaps I should let you go first. Damn, she is cold, bro. There's no need. I've heard that fried tofu with all the frills gets cold quickly. If we don't serve it right away, then I'm afraid it'll become a cold, greasy mess. Oh! <laughs> wow, they're exchanging insults. What is this? Battle rap? Okay. Ooh, please. Kokomi. The winner is. Kokomi. 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 Sangonomiya. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Sorry to keep you waiting. Congratulations. Thank you. 
was a real nail biter, but you did it! That Miko is a crafty one. Pretending she had no strategy and letting one of her own character cards get defeated. But then she played two cards from her hand that required to have lost the character card. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, my God! I'll go play with Goro instead. <laughs> I'll go. Oh, <laughs> no. Since I've seen those fuzzy ears of his. Oh, she knows. <clears throat> Now, back to our conversation. That's all, guys. Um, that'll be another video. Sumeru will be another video. Thanks. Thank you so much for 100 subscribers before. And that's it. Hmm? See you later, guys. Hmm.